Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, let's do a little bit of improvisations. Um, let's actually make this um, Olympic logo. Um, it should be something that's pretty easy to do, uh, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's open up Blender. I already have Sphere Chalk add-on ready, and we're gonna do it uh, procedurally. So switch to compositing, turn on Sphere Chalk, and this is for our image reference and yeah i think we can just drag and drop it oh, actually it doesn't doesn't quite work on mac this i can drag and drop it to the desktop and then drop it into blender so this one is nice it has transparency file save as olympic logo and let's delete everything so we just need to have some rings right so for rings you have you already have a node that does that so this is the ring we can connect it to viewer draw i believe i probably have created something similar in the past so we can do this in many different way uh, look at it from the top view so the ring might have need a bit of control. So this is actually a good one to use. Instead of exterior interior, we use major minor. And maybe I can make a couple, but if I'm not wrong, we have the bricks grid. Um, I mean, for the matrix, for the location, we can do it manually. I'll show you um, if we are using list input and five vector so we can simply um, doing it this way now just move the X and this guy also this is like doing it manually by eyes so this will this will do the job you just need to keep doing it until you get the, the perfect ring there must be some kind of uh, calculation or formula to get it exactly or you can just use this image as reference but I think I will also try to use this uh, brick grid and simply use the center and <laughs> there you go this is what you get by default um, probably too many let's reduce this And there you go, um, Olympic ring, kind of. Uh, we can simply rotate this guy, or if I shift it, no, shift is not correct. That's not random, okay. With height. Okay, we, we can control this part. Okay, oh well, I think we probably need to flip this, but it depends uh, what's, if we are, so let's say we are extruding this guy after, um, extrude, let's use the extrude region, first of all we have five ring here, and we want to apply the matrix. So we are using this five transform and this five rings. And we can hide this. We can create another viewer B mesh and just pipe this data into this guy. And let's try just uh, extruding along the normal so along the normal it's actually kind of correct so if I'm looking at this guy from the bottom it's kind of it's actually kind of correct so at this stage you can you can still go back and make changes so that's cool on that part so that's one uh, Olympic logo you 
probably say, okay, I need to give it some color, right? So for the color, you can you can do it yourself, or maybe we can have like a different indexing. Um, that's that might be interesting, but uh, let's try also a different method. If we are using a circle, um, a circle and offset line can do the job as well. So on the similar setup, since we already have um, the matrix for it, you can just pipe it in. And now we have the circle. And let's look at the output. With this guy, I'll move it to the right. So that's another kind of like Olympic ring. It's a circle though, so let's say instead of circle, we want it to have a proper ring. So pipe in the circle edges in here, we should get another ring. Okay, so that's also pretty easy. Let's do another one. And this time we're gonna be using Polyline Viewer. So Polyline Viewer, Polyline Viewer will output a curve. And I believe we just need to pipe the, the circle points into this guy. And I might be wrong, it's a, uh, I'm getting something else there. Okay, seems like it's, it is connecting all the five rings for us. Um, that's not what we want, so we, perhaps we can still use this uh, transform from up there into this guy, and then we have the ring, right? So vertices and edges and pipe this into this guy oh okay uncheck the join and then move it down so we have a ring here but it's a bit disconnected so we need to close it so it's it's up to you whether you want to have it as multi or single but you can smooth it if you turn on this line that's uh, one thing and we can adjust the radius <clears throat> if the position of this uh, Olympic logo is not quite right you can always go back all the way and then try to adjust it here okay that guy disappear Okay, so that's getting better. So that's uh, one, two, three, three different ways we have uh, for Olympic logo. You can remember that you can also, uh, if you want to have it like kind of intersecting like this, you, you probably want to use intersect node and then you cut it, you get rid parts where it is kind of touching because Olympic logo is really like 2D, um, if you look at it like this way, when it's like overlapping, kind of like a ring. Uh, but I don't know if you manually doing it, that will work as well. Yeah, sort of. So this one is a curve, and you can have it combined or not. This one is an is a ring, right? And this guy is a it's a line, like a circle line and that you offset. So you already have multiple ways to do this. If I'm not wrong, you can do further, you can do something more, a little bit further here. Like I said, intersect is a good one, it's a good one to use. There's also contour 2D. Let me try. So this uh, expecting vertices and edges.
and also let's see if we can what what do we get from here oh we get a contour let's reduce the distance so this one is slightly more interesting i guess let's move it to the side move it down and let's reduce the distance there you go this one is quite special you can control the number of vertices i think less is actually better and we can also remove doubles so this guy is quite interesting in fact if you are using um, intersect you can also get a different result um, let's see if i should do that or not let's try intersect edges so we have this uh, matrix apply offset line let's plug this into this guy let's look at the output of this i believe it is making an intersection for those lines so if we are using another contour 3d we're gonna get hopefully more interesting result there we go it's not, it's not quite as clean but uh still it's quite something slightly different probably cleaner here with the contour 2d this guy is kind of intersecting and i was actually expecting it to see to have a proper offset okay so i'm using contour 2d here i should actually just use offset line this might give a better result Okay, so might need to remove double there, but they yeah, are not as clean as this guy. But we, with this guy, really we, we have the center, and we can we can pull the center and get some kind of a bevel. But yeah, but anyhow, there's a quick improvisations on how we can create this uh, Olympic logo using Blender and Spreadshock nodes. It's all procedural. I can always go back and then make a bit of changes, you know. It's a it's pretty fun exercise. So I think the last one is a bit it's a bit wrong. Doesn't give proper results so I just gonna get rid of that one. And back to the original ring and yeah I guess you you got what I mean it's a at some point I must I must have made a mistake I think this is the one that's correct so anyhow there you go that's a quick improvisation so there's a big a bit of hiccup there but thanks again for tuning in um, and I'll see you next time thank you bye